right guys, so we just checked out of the hotel. Um, we're gonna go explore today. Yesterday was a mess. Uh, yesterday was actually really cold. Uh, it wasn't until last night when we tried to uh, go to uh, Broadway and take some pictures. We didn't know uh, that it was going to be packed. I guess we underestimated how big Nashville was. Uh, we didn't know that there was a football game going on because there's like a huge stadium there. And there was no place to park. It was crowded. We, uh, we ran into a few dead ends. Uh, so the photo getting some photography pictures was a real mess. Uh, it was a huge fail. I didn't get any pictures. We just sort of ran back here with our uh, camera gear and everything and I failed. But hopefully today's going to be a little different. We're going to try and find a few parking spaces that aren't packed. Hopefully this morning will be different. Alright guys, so we actually managed to find a parking space here close to where we need to be. So we're going to start exploring. Pedestrian bridge. Hmm. Wow. We're exploring Broadway. We just made it to the Hard Rock Cafe. There's a sign. And now we're just gonna go in and eat. I'm kind of hungry. We stopped by the gift shop. Uh, we actually ran into some of our friends from the cubing competition. That was like really cool. Cause like, what are the chances of that happening? Like, one in however many people are here. Six hundred eighty thousand. One in six hundred and eighty thousandths of a chance of us running into somebody that we met at the competition. Two people we met at the competition, actually. You only two. It, that was insane. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten that on camera, but I didn't. So let's just go ahead, go in and eat something. Two. Yeah. Well, just like random good. vents in the sidewalk where you can just stand on and just cool down. Actually, I don't. Why would you do that? We got that look. Actually, this. I think there's actually the Music City Center. Which means, yeah, we just go down that block and then we'll be at the art museum. Actually, I think I can see the art museum from here. I think. I'm not sure. But I remember the Music City Center was really big like this. So the, the music, Country Music Hall of Fame is actually down that way. It's hot, guys.
Oh, cool. well, we can walk across that top. All right, sir. <sighs> Guys, I'm hot. So uh, I think those are the customs houses over there, and that should be the art museum. God, I'm hot though. I hope they have a water fountain in there. So what are we doing? What are we doing? We're you got to go in, and it's. Lucas can get in for free so he doesn't have to pay anything, but I think my ticket is six dollars and so is yours probably. If you're over 18, it's like six dollars, I think, or something. Six or eight, I don't remember. It's not that much. Oh, yeah. Lucas gets in for free though because he's under 18. And still technically counts as a child. Legally anyway. Being an adult is a state of mind. <laughs> Jesus like Christ. Those, gee, that's like touching a fucking cactus. Oh no, this is the customs houses right here. I'll go ahead and... So I couldn't find a lot of research on this place online, uh, but I knew it had something to do with like the president. But on here, you guys can probably read that, but it had something to do with like the president and like him uh, like coming here at some point in time. But we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, a lot of photographers, um, come here to take pictures of this a lot of photographers come here like to take pictures of this because the architecture <laughs> all right so here's the first art museum I don't have a lot of information on the customs houses but I do have a little bit more information on this apparently it was built in like the 30s or something as like a like a post office but around like the 80s they um uh, they didn't need it no more because it was no longer a good location for a post office and they were gonna tear it down, I think, or repurpose it into something else. But some people like really wanted to preserve it as like a historical landmark. So the, uh, these people got together and they made it into an art museum. Parking you pay by the hour. Uh, guys, also my battery is dying, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to film. Oh, all right, let's go in. I got my hood up, guys, because it's hot out here. Oh, God, it's air conditioned. Okay, where do we go? Tickets, we'll call gifts up, cafe elevator, auditorium. Yep, pretty much what I saw online. I think we go this way.
Oh, hey. Parthenon. Uh, oh Jesus, the stairs are huge. Okay, I guess we gotta go in another way. I was pretty fine. All right, so I gotta. Huh? A movie? Yeah. Oh. That guy who's just staying on the road Hmm. So the battery on my last camera died, so I gotta use this camera now. Oh, that feels nice. By the way, we're at the Parthenon. This place is pretty huge. We got back from the art museum. My battery died in the museum, so now I'm back to my actual camera. I was using my point and shoot camera, which is in my pocket. And we'll probably spend a little time here, then go to the mall, and then go home. And this is the other side, apparently. Apparently, you can't get in, but the door looks pretty nice. They're like faces. I forgot what this park was called. Um, I think it's, I think this is called like Millennium Park or something. No, not Millennium Park. That's like a Millennial Park. But I remember it sounds very similar to Millennium Park in Chicago. It's Millennial Park, I think. Not Millennium. I think it's just like a ripoff of Chicago's park. Oh, we're just chilling here. I think I want to get another soda. I put my soda like right there or something. <laughs> just throwing stuff in there. Got the fish. Anytime you throw something in gum. there, the fish. Yeah, they're throwing gum in the water. Cause they're, anytime you throw something in the water, the fish go after it. Yeah, you probably can't. Yeah, you saw it right there. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I'd love to get in that water, except it's so green and probably gross. You can't see it on camera, but they're like ducks over there. Actually, I think you can see it on camera. Jesus, harmony. Yeah, there's the ducks. And um, over here, I remember um, I saw this a lot. Uh, I saw this a lot, like on Instagram and things like that. But I remember photographers um. I saw this exact picture of like that bridge, so that's a popular uh, photography attraction. People like take, they like to take a long lens photo and take a picture of that bridge over there. A duck right there. <laughs> Quack. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, so Tanner wanted to go to the mall. Uh, we're at our last stop for the day, and that is the mall, because Tanner apparently wanted to go to the mall, so that's what we're doing, and then we're going to go home. Oh. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. We already, we're leaving Nashville, um, uh, and we're at our first stop for on our way back to home. Uh, Nashville was pretty cool, uh, second day was pretty hectic, it was alright, I mean, it was definitely pretty stressful uh, for me, it's gonna be stressful, like, having to drive the distance back, but I'd say it was pretty worth it, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but whenever I parked, uh, I, I, I got a ticket, basically, to make a long story short, I did get a ticket for parking without paying, because I didn't, I didn't know that you had to pay for parking, so, um, uh, whenever we went to Broadway and we found a parking place, we're like, yeah, finally we found a parking space. Uh, but then we came back and there was like a ticket on my windshield. Um, so I think it's like $55 if I pay it in two weeks or $60. Um, it was $60, but you get $15 off if you um, pay within two weeks. So I'll pay that off. 
That's weird. I thought I heard somebody yelling at us. Oh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if the second video was any good because I was a little bit more loose with the uh, video. Um, it was good to get away, but I'm actually kind of looking forward to uh, getting back home and, you know, getting back to normal streets to where roads actually make sense. Um, but it was pretty cool to come here. I never thought I'd actually come to uh, Nashville or anywhere for that matter. I've never even left Illinois. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do more traveling in the future. And uh, if I do that again, I'll do um, more traveling videos on my channel. So uh, thank you uh, all for watching. And shout out to uh, the guys we met at the Cuban competition and uh, that we ran into earlier. Uh, if you guys are watching this, then you guys are the best. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.